Hello my friends, and welcome back to a very special NixOS tutorial video. As you may already know, a genocide is currently taking place in the Gaza Strip against the Palestinian people. A number of large American companies have pledged financial and material support to the Israeli occupation forces who are perpetrating this genocide in Gaza. As a result, there have been many calls to boycott these companies. One of those companies is Disney. So in this video, I thought we could carry on from the NixOS Hetzner Cloud starter and show you how you can use the open source software Jellyfin to replace your Disney streaming subscription. Now, I'm certain that everybody who has an interest in this video has a large physical collection of either Blu-rays or DVDs of Disney movies that they already own that they can use to fill their media libraries on Jellyfin. Piracy, of course, is illegal and should not be condoned. And if you are interested in piracy, I suggest that you click away from this video and go to a more appropriate website, such as the Pirate Bay. So why don't we get started here on the right? I am going to bring up the flake.nix file. So I've made some changes here from the template. I've set the username to my username. And I've also added in a file here, jellyfin.nix. And this is gonna set up Jellyfin for us. And it's also going to make sure that it's reachable on a DNS subdomain. So why don't we check out jellyfin.nix? We have a couple of things here. We're saying that in the networking firewall rules for this virtual machine, or you could be doing this on an old machine that you have lying around at home. Uh, we're saying on this machine that we want to open up ports 80 for HTTP traffic and 443 for HTTPS traffic. Then we're saying we would like to enable the Jellyfin service, and really it is just this easy. There are a number of services available. If you go to search.nixos.org, head over to NixOS options, you can search for anything. So for example, if you wanted to set up Plex instead, services.plex.enable. We're gonna go with Jellyfin, nice and open source. There are some other options. They don't necessarily concern us. You can set a specific user. The default is Jellyfin. You can set a specific group. The default is again Jellyfin. And you could build and reference a custom package of Jellyfin if you would like. We don't need to do any of that here. The next block we have here is for Caddy. Now Caddy is also available here. And maybe we can narrow this down a little bit. So there are some more options here. The only ones you really need to concern yourself with are enable to make sure that caddy is enabled and virtual hosts. So I have said that if you get a request that is directed towards tutorials.gz.com, make this a reverse proxy request to the internal IP address and port uh, where Jellyfin is running, and Jellyfin runs internally on port 8096. That's really all it takes. So we can come back here to the tutorial readme, and remember we have this command, right? This nixos rebuild switch flake command, which we can target uh, a remote host. So we are going to do just that. We are going to target this virtual machine, this Jellyfin tutorial virtual machine. This is the IP address. And we're just going to let that run. 
And then what we expect is that when we navigate to https.tutorials.gz.com, look at that, we have Jellyfin. Amazing, amazing. Uh, so I'm gonna allow these here. So you can set up your username, your password, all of that good stuff. Um, we're going to do ABC one, two, three, four, five, ABC one, two, three, four, five. And then you can just go ahead and add your media libraries. You can select movies. There are a lot of Disney movies that I'm sure that you all have at home on Blu-rays and on DVDs that you can rip to put here in your Jellyfin media server or TV shows, series. I'm sure there are plenty of series collection DVDs and Blu-rays that you can also source content from to put on here. And that is it. That is exactly how easy it is to get up and running with Jellyfin on NixOS so that you too can cut the cord from the Disney streaming service. So that was really all that I wanted to share in this video today. Please remember that piracy is not condoned, piracy is illegal, and this is the wrong video to be watching if you are interested in piracy of Disney content. I hope that whatever you all do today, you all have a great, great day. Free Palestine. And I'll see you all back here next time.